Black-legged ticks in the nymph stage are about the size of a sesame. They're active from mid-spring to mid-summer, which Nick Ogden with the National Microbiology Lab says is the riskiest time of year for contracting a tick-borne illness like Lyme disease and babesiosis. And the reason for that is that the nymphal ticks are, are more numerous. Although babesiosis is still rare in Canada, experts are cautioning that it could become more common because black-legged ticks, also known as deer ticks, are spreading into new areas in part due to climate change and migratory birds. We seem to be having less intense winters and the intense winters can contribute to the survival rate of ticks overwintering being lower. Genetics founder Justin Wood says shorter winters also mean these ticks have more time to bite a host and transmit an infection like babesiosis that's caused by microscopic parasites, which in turn can cause heart, liver and renal failure. They should be considered very seriously if you're infected with them. They can be very, very debilitating for people. Wood says babesiosis has typically been spread in North America by two species. Babesia microti and Babesia duncani, but he says a third one called Babesia autocoilii, detected in 2021, is even more concerning and prevalent. We see it in close to 7 to 10 percent of black legged ticks that we test, and that's kind of across Canada. So the original work looked at just one area in Ontario, the Here Ontario area, and since then we've been testing ticks all across Canada and we found it almost everywhere. Ogden and Wood advise doing regular tick checks on yourself and your pets after being out in grassy or wooded areas like this. You can also prevent tick bites by tucking your pant leg into your sock and wearing bug spray with DEET or a keratin. Rosanna Hempel, Global News.